Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Hundley's World of Weather. I clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for May 28th through June 11th. For May 28th through June 1st, this is what we have. We have here um, an upper low off the west coast. This is a gradual slide eastward pushing this ridge into the western U.S. We also have a ridge here over the east and we have an upper low, another upper low here in the southern plains. Now during this forecast period, the upper low down here will cause heavy rain across the lower Mississippi Valley to the Gulf Coast and southeast later in the week. Therefore, during this period, we're expecting above normal precipitation for much of this area as this rain pushes to the southeast. Below normal precipitation forecast here, we have another area of some above normal precipitation for the interior northeast. This activity will then spread to the east coast by the weekend. We'll take a look at that. You see right here. And we have the upper low near the west coast will cause rain that could be monitored heavy from northern California to the northwest. Temperatures of parts of the west under the ridge will average about 25 degrees above normal. And the area from the Great Lakes to the Northeast could experience temperatures of 10 to 20 degrees above normal. Taking a look at the period for June 2nd to the 6th. The upper low is forecast over the Gulf of Alaska we have here. And we have a trough along the West Coast extending from that. And another trough forecast over the Northeast, a weak trough. So during this period, you see here, we trough. So um, all in all, um, for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting anomalies uh, 4 to 12 degrees above normal. The highest anomalies would be across this region here. And then we have below normal temperatures for the northern mid-Atlantic and the northeast with the anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees above normal. For precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. Then we have below normal precipitation for much of this region here. Probability of occurrence is 45%. Now we're going to look at the period for June 7th to the 11th. We see very little change in overall flow. We saw the westerlies here across the northern U.S. Trough here extending into the west, however weak, and this trough is also weak across the northeast. With that said, I am forecasting above normal temperatures across this area to the Pacific coast, and I'm forecasting anomalies near 8 degrees above normal. And for precipitation causing little change in the overall precipitation anomalies. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 28th through June 11th. Thanks for coming to Jim Lindley's World of Weather and have a good day.